SIGEIA project is a coordination and support action funded by the European Commission under the Horizon 2020 program. The main objective of SIGEIA is to foster the adoption of the open science paradigm and the promotion of e-infrastructures across Europe and Africa, with special respect to sub-Saharan African countries. We aim at creating educational and training material directed to community of practice, to end users, but also to system administrators at national research and education network. Here in Catania, at the University of Catania, we are running two courses. One on the DevOps approach to deploying e-infrastructure services, and another one to easily share services using federated identities and federated credentials. For the first course, we are relying on CSIR. For the second, we are exploiting a very good collaboration with GAR, the Italian National Research Network, which has a long experience in running an identity federation at the national level. In this course, we went into great depth into this particular tool of Ansible. We also covered certain uh, philosophical arguments, such as the DevOps movements and the way in which to collaborate in this modern environment, plus certain well-known software engineering principles, such as uh, unit testing and how to implement tests for infrastructure. We work in an extremely complicated environment where there's many services, many different kinds of people, differing skill levels and so on. And we've identified the fact that certain services are better developed by experts in that service, which can then be put into production at, at different sites in the region. So we're adopting a tool such as Ansible, uh, where, which allows us to do this in a very coordinated and systematic way without uh, in introducing downtimes and ensuring that people collaborate effectively. In the Regional Operations Center, we have a couple of agreements with peer infrastructures such as EGI to maintain e-infrastructure services such as computing, data storage and various other things which scientists need to get their jobs done. Uh, keeping these things up and running requires a certain level of operational stability and we're using certain tools to be able to maintain this. GAR is the National Research and Education Network in Italy and, and has among its partners all the major universities in Italy um, but also many other research institutions like for instance uh, uh, medical uh, research institutions like hospitals. Among the partners, we also have um, some research organizations like the CNR, the National Research Council in Italy, and also the INFN, the Italian National Institute for Nuclear Physics. GAR is also actively uh, providing and promoting the adoption of networks between research institutions around the globe by participating into European initiatives in the GIAF project, uh, but also supporting other projects around the globe. Since around 10 years ago, GAR started operating an identity federation for the Italian community, of research institutions. This uh, uh, identity uh, federation is called IDEM uh, and uh, collects and connects uh, all the universities and research institutions in Italy. With this uh, identity federation, we are now able to provide uh, the mechanism for users to authenticate into services throughout all the organizations in Italy. GAR is uh, collaborating with the SIGEIA project uh, to provide a course uh, about how to configure a web application to become a service into an identity federation. The idea of this course is that we would strongly encourage uh, service operators uh, uh, to provide their service at a more uh, wider level, uh, accepting users coming from the federations. The main objective of, of the course is to give the service operators the skills and knowledge to operate a service in the Federation. And so we will go through all the technical details to configure an SP uh, to transform the web application and develop the, into a service of a Federation. The intended audience for the course does is all uh, the people that are providing services of some help, some use within the research communities. And with uh, the collaboration with SciGaia, we hope that we will be able to reach more services and more operators around the globe and also in Africa. These two courses will be integrated and deployed and made available on the uh, courseware of the project and will be made available for self-paced learning to all members of the National Research Networks and members of the IT staff 
at the universities and research organizations at large in the African continent.